All right, hello everyone. We're here with Dream. Uh, we are doing an interview moment. Uh, just to clarify some things, get some misinformation out of the way. And uh, actually, first, I would like to actually apologize uh, for misrepresenting you in my interview with Uber. I didn't know Uber was withholding information about him threatening you and talking to you and all that. So thank you for bringing in your side of the story. Unless you want me to, I don't think I'm going to remove the interview from the video. Even though I could by, you know, editing and re-uploading, because I believe in owning up to my mistakes, and I think I'll leave that there for the public to judge. Yeah, no, that's fine. I, I don't, no complaints. With your response video, I'd like to uh, clear some things up, because I still think, well, so first I accused you of not reading properly, right? And then you said, no, I don't think you're actually reading properly, as in me. Uh, but uh, I think I'd like to turn it back around, because I still don't think... I think I'm still in the right. I think I did read it properly. Um, and let me here, I'll say I'll, I'll I guess I'll I'll partially explain. So the the whole four block and you're showing four point zero whatever. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm I'm because I'm doing I'm storytelling. I'm presenting a, I'm presenting a a um a, a picture in their brain of oh you know four four blocks is the first the furthest you can jump, which is what most people think or at least at the time before that video thought. Um, and when you say four point, whatever, if I were to go, go up to you and say, you know, how many blocks can you jump? Maybe because you're into parkour, you would say five point, whatever. But if I were to ask anybody, like even I went in my discord and I asked how far can you jump? Not a single person said more than a, than a, like a block number. It wasn't, nobody said decimals. And if you asked me how far you can you jump? I'd say five blocks right now, even right now, even though that's not specific. If I had to get specific, I'd say five point, whatever. But when I'm saying, when I'm presenting that somebody thinks it's four blocks, and then, and then you know, you're arguing and saying, "Oh, well, they said four point zero three five, not 4. I'm saying that's the same thing to me. I'm I'm truncating it. I'm not I'm not I'm not rounding. I'm not whatever. I'm truncating the end of the number from four point whatever to four because if you're at, if you're showing somebody in most scenarios in Minecraft, you you can only actually jump from block to block, and you're not going to have some special thing with trap doors or fences or whatever so I, I was in the whole like you said later in the video i was i was talking in whole numbers the entire time so showing a screenshot and saying oh they said 4.035 and you're showing it saying they think it's four well the whole point is that they're wrong <laughs> they're wrong they're we're, we're, no matter what even if even unless they said five they're wrong and none of them said five okay. and um the last one the, the last one was just a mis a, mi a miscommunication which i where i think i i think that you read incorrectly is um is only really in that one i think that you you read incorrectly in the last one but i think before that you didn't read incorrectly you just misunderstood my point um so that wasn't reading correctly but the last one i believe that you you read incorrectly and in thinking that they um they were referring to uh what's it called um the different interpretation they, they're, they're about jump length. different interpretation of jump length. yes um but, but which i was i was incorrect in saying that a, a three block jump while walking is impossible but and referring to this person's this person's statement in 2012, mm -hmm. unless you're unless you're insinuating they discovered the five block jump, then obviously I'm still correct. But um, even even though I, I I misinterpreted the fact that a three block jump while walking is is not um, is is indeed possible, which I I didn't know. Okay, let's take this one post at a time though, because you showed three images, three different forum posts. Uh, the first one, did you say that the poster is wrong about? I don't actually know um, what you said they were wrong about, but you said they were. No, wrong, I, I, wrong. I said the whole the whole point is that it doesn't. They they in their post they said they they came to the conclusion essentially um, that uh, even though they didn't give a specific example saying yes this is one hundred percent their number that they put up was like four point zero whatever mm -hmm. um, as the minimum max jump length. Which obviously, yes. if you asked anybody and you said, "Hey, what's the max jump length?" and they say four blocks and you go, oh no, you're wrong. It's 4.01. They'd go, oh, well, even, even though it's not, they'd go, oh yeah, I understand that because if I were to jump four blocks, it's easy. And if it was exactly four blocks, then yeah, I wouldn't even make the jump ever. So, but nobody would say 4.01 if they thought it was 4.01, they would just go four blocks, which is the point I'm making is that I was just pointing out the fact that they were essentially saying, um, you know, they, they weren't saying, oh, you can jump longer than five blocks if you have this specific scenario, which wasn't even known. Um, at least widely known. Okay, but if these are the sources you're citing to prove your claim that everyone thinks the longest jump is four blocks, and these posts disagree with you, why would you use these sources at all? How do they How do they disagree with me? Because four point oh eight seven five is still different from four. And if we go to, I think it's the second post. It's not though. It's not. 
I'll put the one that says the longest jump is 4.246, and yeah, you same, still say that's thing. the same thing as four blocks. Yeah, I do. I, I, because my the point I'm making is is not oh it, I'm not I'm not looking for a specific um like the whole point is is it four blocks or is it five blocks and most people at the time are unaware that it's actually five blocks not and I presented that the entire time you even you even say in your own video that he why is he talking in terms of four five and six mm -hmm. um you can disagree because you're you're in the parkour community and you want to get into specifics but my video wasn't specific I you mentioned that many times with different examples saying well he said velocity but he didn't say um I'm forgetting the term. Do you mean elevation momentum? Elevation momentum, yeah. yeah. So I, you you mentioned you meant basically there, there's a bunch of specifics in the video that mm -hmm. I that I'm very vague on, and the whole reason for that is that my video isn't the the reason the parkour community has a hard time branching out to mainstream is generally because it's too of complicated. things like things like that, and and I in my videos I always do it in every single video of mine, and I suggested it even I have specifically suggested to um, any friends of mine to. Um, be vague if they can uh, in videos because of the fact that most people have a vague understanding. Most people that are watching are either younger or they're older, but they they just play Minecraft casually or they play Pocket Edition or whatever. And and going into specifics about things like you know, going into specific nuance of uh, it's four point zero three five. Um, it, to me, I thought would be shying away from the point because that, that kind of gets people distracted. So my my point is that you're 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 assuming I'm making a I'm saying that four is equal to four point zero three, which I am not. I am saying that within my within my presentation of it, four is equal to four point zero three because it doesn't matter. I'm presenting four or five, and if you had to choose four or five and truncate the number, then four point zero three or four point zero one or four point zero nine 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 is still four, no matter what. Um, so within my argument, it's with, within my argument, four is equal to 4.0999, whatever. Um, once you pass over that five number, then that's when um, it wouldn't be. And I, and I wasn't, not, I wouldn't say they're sources. They were just, I, it's visual aid. Um, I wanted to show, I wanted to show visual aid um, that's easy to see and go, oh, okay. Look, it looks like somebody saying that, you know, they're, they're, that four blocks is the longest jump. And if I had gone in chat or something like you gave as an example and said, is four block mm -hmm. jump the longest? Um, then even if there is like a mi even if there is a slight mixed response, like somebody says no or somebody says it's three blocks or whatever, it's just confusing to read in a, a split second. But if I flash something on the screen and just get as much information as I can by going flash, flash, flash with three different screenshots that um, that after me reading them, I believe that they uh, agree with my argument or agree with my um, presentation that most people think it's four blocks or it did at the time, um, then. That's what. That's why I did that, and it wasn't. It had not, they're not necessarily sources. It's just a visual aid to, um, to show that I wasn't trying to say all oh, these people are reliable sources or anything. It doesn't matter. It's just an example saying even when I googled it, <laughs> everywhere that I looked, there was not a single place that I looked that said five blocks. Um, and it, it's even hard for people to come across Uber's video that had the five block jump. Um, that's something that it, it, even coming even when you search like five block jump on, on on Google at the time when I was searching and stuff, it wasn't a very popular search result. Um, I'm so I, I, pretty sure that Uber's video had something like 150,000 or more views at around September 2019, a month before you made your video. I think he yeah, has sure he the analytics on that. I could sh get that later for you if you want. Oh, it doesn't. I mean, I believe you. It doesn't necessarily matter. I'm, I'm saying when I when I did when I was researching it originally, I don't remember it coming up. Um, but at the time, I mean, I I already when I was started researching, I'd already seen the video. I'd mentioned that. Um, and I had mentioned to Uber himself too that when I saw it, that when I saw his video, um, I was already doing the unsolved mystery series. I had already uploaded a few times, and I thought, oh, this would be a great unsolved mystery because most people don't know this, and that was the whole point of it. Was most people do not know that you can do a five block jump I'll agree um, with in that. Minecraft, yeah. which is which was the point of me making the video in the first place. So when I'm presenting these sources, it's me saying I googled this. You know, here, here's some of the of the top results on Google, which is it was at the time um, that say four blocks, and none of them said five blocks, which was only the point I was making. Um, if I can get this straight, you just tried to make that point so you could get a good introduction for your video and like set the press to the premises, right? It's it's not a big deal at all whether it's actually true or not. It's just a storytelling thing, right? Well, I, I think I think, but I think it is true. I think that those people, if you were to ask them, what is at the time, if you had asked them what how far can you jump, they all would have said four blocks. They would not have said four point what they said specifically in their post. They would have said four blocks, which is which is the point I was making. Is that most people by default, if you're asking them a question like that, and you're talking in blocks, which is the way Minecraft works, they're gonna truncate the end of the number and just say whatever whatever the first block they can jump is because it's relevant. In Minecraft, there's no 
you know, even though there may be some blocks that are close to it, there is no, you know, 0.25 block. There is no 0.5 block. It's like, it's just, there's some blocks that may be smaller than a normal block that may, that may work in that way, like a trap door, but nobody, everyone, when you're talking in terms of blocks, which I was, you're not, there's, you know, there's no 0.2, there's no 0.15 blocks that you oh, can't say. But these fractional blocks are always used in parkour. I can share my screen if you'd like. I can no, I, 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 no, I, I, I parkour all the time. I, I believe you, and I, and I know that. Um, I'm just saying it's, it's irrelevant to the fact, to the question, which is, can you jump four or five blocks? That was the question I was posing. I posed it throughout the entire video, and um, I was even, even when I was talking to Bad Boy Halo, I asked him, you know, can you jump four? Can you jump five? Yeah, what, what can you jump? I didn't say can you jump four, four point zero one five, four point two five. So my whole argument was either if you have an option, four or five, what would you choose? And almost everybody before that video was posted. But even if before. that's the common perception that you only think in terms of blocks, I'd really like to change that because these fractional blocks are used so often in parkour. You have fences, cobble no. walls, iron bars. You see them all the time, and they do represent decimals of blocks. They're not. If you have, yeah, a jump, I don't. I, I I don't think in only terms of blocks. Though. That's not. That's not at all what I'm saying. I'm saying. I obviously I'm thinking in terms, of, especially as a developer. I'm thinking in terms of that. In terms of decimals, I'm saying in, in a video format. If I were to tell you. Dude, dude, it's not 4.2 that's possible. It's 4.0, it's 4.25. You would be like, eh. I told you, dude, it's not four blocks, it's five blocks. That is a much bigger difference because like because of all those numbers in between that are, are important in parkour and there is a progression and there was a progression to get there and understanding that it is five blocks. But I think it, I think that it's it's not an argument about whether you know 4.125. It's not saying that it's not important. It's saying that to a viewer who knows nothing about parkour and doesn't care about parkour, which is you know most of my audience, um, you're, you're presenting it in a way where they will understand it and understand the significance of it because it is a significant thing. I think that it, even though it may be a significant thing to find out, oh, you can jump this much more further as well, and decimals is a more significant thing for someone to change their perception from I can jump four blocks to I can jump five blocks, or that, or that, not to say I, but that it is possible in Minecraft to jump this far um, is a is a much bigger difference between four and five than there is between four point you know six and four point seven. Um, and putting even even if you were to tell somebody you can jump 4.9 blocks, that may not be big information to them. But if you said five, which is only 0 0.01 bigger than 4.99, they'd be like, no way, no, that's that's not true. And that was that was the whole point I was illustrating with the, at the beginning, or at least that's why I thought that I when I was using those clips, I thought, ah, yeah, this is very very clearly they think it's four blocks, and I'm I'm rounding it down, um, or not even rounding it down, just truncating the the end decimals because they're 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 pointless when you're talking in terms of blocks. Which obviously, it's like you said, parkour. There's a lot of other blocks in parkour, so it's not. I'm not saying I only think in terms of blocks. I'm saying that, and when you're in a video format, when you're that, that's all the video was about. It was was five or six blocks. Um, even the thumbnail, it showed five blocks. It didn't show five point zero one four blocks because that's that's more difficult to understand. Um, so that's why that's why I personally believe that. So that, um, if that's the case, and you do acknowledge decimals outside the video, then why did you say I was not reading properly when it came to the posts? Because, ah, going through timestamps and stuff, but at like your 0 0.55 second mark, did I say that right? 55 seconds, you said that I did not read the previous part where it highlights 4.0875, where at my 2.17 mark in my debunking video, I highlight that actually, and that it gets kind of obscured by your red highlighting box. So why did you say I not read properly? Um, when I said I, I, I had already reacted to the entire video when I was editing my video. Um, the main, the main issue I had with you not reading properly was on the last one, but I think, I think all of them, I guess you can call it perception or you can call it not reading properly. Um, but I'm playing off of the fact that you said I can't read properly and you're, and you're showing parts of the post that I did read. Um, so I'm essentially saying the same thing back at you, even though I may mean potentially perception, um, cause you're perceiving both the final post and the first two posts incorrectly by assuming that this person disagrees with me when in, in reality, if we were in a room together and you asked them, they would agree with me and say, yeah, the farthest you can jump is four blocks. So you said, if I gave them an option, four or five, they would say four. And that was uh, the illustration I was getting at by showing those posts. And so when I'm saying you're reading incorrectly, I guess you're reading, in, you're, you're reading comprehension, com comprehension maybe is, is off, not necessarily you're reading, but um, I think that it's, it's similar enough that it's easier to when you when you're you know you're chucking an insult or whatever um, to just you know bounce back with that same insult even though I may potentially mean reading comprehension which is just the ability to read 
you know, those words and then have it understand what that person, you know, my mindset is as well as that person's mindset. So I guess that's an explanation of, of what I meant by that. I'm trying to process here. You say that in the last post, you bring up the interpretation about you can talk about jump length in terms of the gap alone, like a four block gap, or the gap plus a landing plus the landing block, in which case you would say it's a five block jump, even though that's a four block gap plus a landing block equals five, which is a weird interpretation. And there's no indication in the post itself that they're talking with that interpretation. They could just be flat out wrong. They could be. Yeah, no, of course, they, of course they could be. But then, then you you could have said that in your video as well, which you did not. Um, so I'm saying you're saying I'm reading because I didn't think they were using thing. that interpretation. You never brought up the interpretation initially that people think about this jump jump length in two different ways. Oh, you mean in my in my original video? Yes. Well, yeah, I, I had no reason to. I didn't expect. I, I wasn't expecting my to be nitpicked or anything. I didn't know. Yeah. I wasn't. I wasn't thinking. I wasn't thinking in terms of oh, let me let me. Exp explain that in this image is just i i thought i i just thought oh after reading this image okay this person's thinking in terms of um in terms of that way that line of thinking and um and uh and i'm i'm gonna highlight what's you know what's what's relevant even though yeah in that post if you were to analyze that post and go oh is what he highlighted accurate to the rest of the post um no you're you're, you're correct in that and that what i highlighted it does not necessarily um, represent what the person said. Although I personally, which is my interpretation of what they said, believe that it represents best what they meant by what they said, even though what they said was different than than what I believe they meant. Um, and that is that is a wild assumption to make, but to me, it doesn't matter to me because I was just, oh, at the beginning of a video, I'm just showing screenshots of people saying that it's a four block jump. And at the time, that, that was posted in 2012. And like you said, the, the five block jump wasn't even discovered to be possible until um, until like 2019 or, or you know, 2017 or whenever his video was, mm -hmm. um, which was way after his post. So in, unless unless you are saying that this person is a Albert Einstein and has discovered that the five block jump existed way before it did, then they must believe that the four block jump is the farthest. And if you make that assumption, then you can assume that they are talking in terms of the gap and not the jump, which is the 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 stretch I guess that I made. Yeah. Now, if I'm honest. I will agree that this person is probably talking in that interpretation of the gap plus the landing block, but we really just can't know. So none of this, it seems kind of nitpicked for me, right? And I'm sorry for that. It's like, I oh, got these three little screenshots at the start of the video wrong. Ah. But uh, it's less important for the posts themselves and getting it wrong. It doesn't really matter what... Well, do, you, do you agree? I'll ask you this, I guess. Okay. One question. Do you agree that before my video was posted, that the general, maybe not within the parkour community, but that by far the general sentiment of, or the general knowledge of uh, the Minecraft community was that a four block jump was the furthest? Would you agree with that? I will agree. Okay. So then the screenshots are irrelevant. I, I was just trying to, I was just trying to, like I said, it, it's a, it's a video. And the reason it has as many yes. views as it did is because of my presentation. And, um, it, it, you mm -hmm. know, it's, it's the same in this. It, I guess we will go in order, but um, but yeah, it's the presentation. So I, if if as long as you agree with that, then there's no point in nitpicking the screenshots because it doesn't it doesn't matter. Okay. I'm, just, well, I'm, just I'm getting to that. The, point, but. the reason I'm nitpicking these screenshots is because I think it shows a greater that sounds weird to say a greater trend of that you don't often show evidence for your claims or proper evidence as I first believed these screenshots demonstrated. Uh, when you make claims, like you kind of just trust people to trust you. I think I mentioned this in my video, and people who are not your fans might expect a little more evidence, especially when in so terms you you agreed, right? You agreed that um, that that the by far the sentiment or the knowledge of the Minecraft community at the time before this video was that a four block jump is the furthest possible. So I'm not trying to prove anything to anybody because there's two people that are watching or there's three types of people that are watching this video. One, people who know about parkour. And if they know about parkour, they're going to know that and go, oh, yeah, most people are idiots. Most people think that it's four blocks when really it's five. And there's two people who don't know about parkour. And people who don't know about parkour are going to watch it and go, oh, oh, wow. Yeah, I thought it was four blocks. And then the third, the third person is people who don't know Minecraft. 
and somebody who doesn't know Minecraft is going to go, hmm, you know, is not is not going to know at you know really at all. So showing something on screen, illustrating here's some posts online that say that you know that that agree with this sentiment, um, may only literally be for that viewer, that viewer that doesn't really know Minecraft that just happened to find a cool video and be watching it and be interested, like hmm, actually. Um, and because I didn't need, I'm not trying to prove anything to the people who actually care, which are the parkour people in this case about that specific statement, um, or the people who are, who are not parkourers that may care and go, Oh, I knew it was a five block jump all along. Um, I'm not trying to prove anything to anybody. If I was trying to prove something, then sure. And the thing about the unsolved, which you may, you may go through and say, Oh, there's not, you know, there's not a lot of evidence in any of them. Um, that's because that's because there, there isn't meant to be. So like as an example in my, um, my uh, sharks one about Minecraft. Mm -hmm. I, I I come. I have a, a theory about that. China may have something to do with the fact that sharks weren't added, which has some backing to it. And actually, there's other YouTubers yeah. that have made videos about that theory. Um, the but I I, I don't yes. I don't I don't believe it at all. I I don't believe that I don't believe that at all. And I was not. I I was only showing enough evidence that the person watching the video um, may put you know potentially is in that mindset of going oh well, anything you know it is it is possible um that way it's a more enjoyable experience so it's the same thing with um the part showing those screenshots is it's not um it's not a lack of evidence i wasn't proving anything it's something it's a conception that the viewer already has and like i'm sure when you watch that video the first time you're probably going yeah most people think it, most people thought it was a four block or anybody who's watching it will think that so i'm not trying to prove anything to anybody if i was then obviously like i said if the video was called the solved mystery of minecraft's longest jump i would be going into it and i have the wherewithal to do that and i have minecraft source code and uh i don't know ways that i could potentially go through and get into specifics but i chose not to because it's the unsolved series and i'm i'm not going to go that deep into making sure oh wait okay specifically is this screenshot is this screenshot like i don't even know how to word it because it is in my mind it's still i think it's accurate i think that my when i put up those screenshots i didn't say they think it's four blocks exactly and no, not even, not further at all. I just presented it as they think it's, you can only jump, you know, four blocks and they're wrong. Um, and um, I, I stick by that, I guess. Okay. I can accept that. Um, I just wanted to ask, cause it, I was thinking about it with, when you brought up the shark video, uh, your unsolved series, it is mostly for entertainment purposes, right? Like rather than in being informative. Um, I would say, no, I'd say that there's, there's two kind of different aspects to it. So generally okay. in each of my unsolves, I try and present at least one major fact that people don't know about Minecraft or about, okay. about, about something in general. And then I try and on top of that, I try and have a mystery to end the video on with something mysterious. So that mystery is the one that doesn't have much back into it has like no you know not really much evidence to it or maybe not maybe not at all and it's just theories that's within the community or theories that people have said or just a random theory that i thought of to make the video interesting that is the entertainment value now the part of this one that is the knowledge part is the fact that a five block jump is possible the mystery part is the fact that a six block jump could potentially be which i don't think i don't think a six block is possible and at the time of making the video i didn't as well and i told that to uber um you know back eight months ago when the video was made um so, and then like in, in, as an example, uh, like the duplicate accounts unsolved mystery I did, it was the fact that there can be two accounts in Minecraft with the same name in Java edition, which is something that most people had no idea about. And I'd say even people that were very knowledgeable Minecraft had no idea about until I made that video. Um, and it doesn't mean that it wasn't, it was, wasn't even just, it wasn't discovered by me. There was, there was like OG name groups and stuff that knew about it. And that were like huge, you know, supporters of it at the same time. Um, just like with the five block jump, but bringing it to a wider audience. And the way you do that is by making it interesting to people who don't care about OG names or about, you know, glitches like that. They, they, people who don't care about that may care about the fact that, oh, maybe Mojang servers were hacked, like people, because it's a mystery and it's something cool to think about. Um, which is the only reason I, <laughs> I, I format the videos like that. But yeah. So you were saying, you were saying, is it, is it meant to be okay, like yeah. new, make, help people learn? It's, yeah. it's kind of a yes and a no Where question. I was generally, no, but. Yeah, where I was going with that is that though a lot of it is entertainment and there are people, your fans, who will take it as being really informative and they will believe firmly in what you say, even if some of them are only theories. So what the parkour community wanted me to, I don't know, kind of resolve was the fact that a lot of people believed in infinite momentum, even though you yourself were like unsure of whether it's actually a thing, you were saying that in your original video, but you know there are fans who just like hear that it might be possible and they're like oh yes it must be possible there must be in from momentum yeah, i'm going well, to jump a million blocks but 
that's the thing. That's the only. That's the only real problem I have with the the whole the, the group of people that I get that I, I guess that are that are mad at me for that is that from my perspective, I'm I I'm not doing that. And there's even yeah. things like you can't. There's people, that'll go, there's, there's people that'll go around with my videos and go, "Oh, Dream is the best Minecraft player in the world." Yeah, because they they watch my videos and and they they get a perception of that and then go they go and say it and I, I don't agree with that I don't I don't think that's true I think that that is that is false and I wouldn't I I guess I, I guess I don't really mind people saying it because it boosts my ego but <laughs> but I, I, it's something that I wouldn't I wouldn't say and that I don't agree to um, and it's the same thing with I can't control that at all and there's so many things in other videos that are like I don't know you know even just misconceptions where like let's say I I, I in a video. I remember in my um, in my world one of my world record videos, I said that Pilger Outpost means that there's a village nearby. Um, I just thought that, and apparently I'm wrong, but I just thought that at the time, and it helped me find a village. Um, but I just I I was just thinking, oh, I, fi I figure that's possible, and I was just saying it off the cuff. And I'm sure that there's some people out there that now have it engraved in their mind. Oh, Villager out Villager Outpost, and then if they say it, um, you know, what's the harm? They, they you correct them, and then they move on, and it's fine. Um, which is, I'm not in control at all. There's a lot of people that are younger that will do stuff like that, that will believe something even if it's not explicitly said. Because like I said, I never said in my video at all that, you know, uh, you know that infinite momentum is possible mm -hmm. or that a six-block jump is possible. And I actually alluded to the opposite um, in the ending when I was, ta when I was talking about it. Um, but I also, at parts in the video, alluded to the fact that it may be possible. When I said, like, when I said to Babo Halo, I was like, maybe a six-block jump is possible. It's like, no, there's no way. Um, so... I, I the only thing I honestly the only thing I really would I, I really regret about the video is um is that I I didn't do more research into who Uber was at the time because I had no like from my perspective I didn't know Uber discovered the five block jump I had no idea about that I just thought he 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 you know I, I thought he made a map for it and that it, it was something that may be known by a bunch of people and I thought that was cool I thought oh it's cool this guy made a map for it so I'm gonna advertise his map I'm gonna advertise his channel I'm gonna show his clip in the video. Um, and I thought that it, that would be cool. And that's, that's kind of what led to the whole, the whole situation with that. Um, so I, 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 if that's only, that's the only real thing that I forget about it. Cause if I had, if I had known that, then some of the video would have been shaped a little differently. I'm sure. Um, okay. That is really nice that you say that because I just actually assumed that you knew he was the discoverer of the five block jump. So that's my bad. I actually just jumped to conclusions there. So that really, um, clears up my main gripe in the original debunking video that uber didn't give enough credit but if you didn't think he was the discoverer then i, I can see from your perspective that you wouldn't be in the wrong to well, I, not I credit him anymore I, I, regardless i definitely gave enough enough credit and i after I, the fact you, you did i want to acknowledge that you gave as much credit as you that, could after the video the was made. That, on the day that i uploaded the video um because i he he the first i didn't he didn't ask me to do it he emailed me threatening me and then i said i, I replied and was like dude calm down dude. i i can i'll give you i'll give you more credit if you'd like what would you like and then he didn't give any he said and then his reply was i don't want credit the video just sucks essentially um and then event, and then i basically essentially convinced him <laughs> to let me to let me credit him more if he wanted more credit um and uh yes yeah, so I, I feel like i that, that my, my biggest gripe, I guess, is I have, I have a big problem with the way Uber portrayed, I guess, the whole situation um, in the interview, just because I, f I feel like he was blatantly dishonest and spread misinformation and et cetera um, with bad intentions versus uh, even if you argue, oh, you spread misinformation. Well, I did it with good intentions and I did it unintentionally, um, whereas I believe that in that situation, I don't think that's that's necessarily the case. Because he was being straight up asked specific questions that you know, obviously something could something like that, like uh, something you know, saying like a big creator stealing from a small creator, you know, mo most most small creators would love to have their you know work with proper credit featured in a video. Yes, and I think any of those creators that you were to ask, even if I were you know you were to say about you, if I were to put if I were to put if I were to put an info card of a video that you did when I show it for let's just say thirty seconds in a video, if I were to put an info card for you, a link in the description, a pinned comment. And in the video, show like part of your video and talk about it a little bit. I'm sure there's no way that you would possibly think that I didn't credit you enough, which is the problem that I had um, with with the way he was the, the way he portrayed it, and then he seemed to be fixated on money and um, et cetera, which obviously doesn't make any sense to me at all. Other than people saying, "Oh, dang! Like I I, I wish I had made money off my video." That's that's like as in for his video, that's fine, but um, implying and stating multiple times in some way that i that i potentially owe him money or that i should have given him money in some way is so sleazy because 
there, there's no way that I ever would have agreed to do anything like that. And, and his contribution in terms of towards my video, especially from my point of view before when I didn't even know that, oh, he's the one who discovered the video yes. um, was very minimal. And even in this case, even knowing, even knowing he discovered, the, discovered the five block jump, I will, I will say that as well, because should I go back and credit people who, you know, invented sprint jumping or who invented or found, discovered something else or discovered the 4.5 block jump or whatever in the video? Of course not. It's, it's, a, it was a two year old video. It wasn't like I, I, I just, it just came out and I stole all his fame from it. It had been out for two years. Um, and that, I guess that's the, the biggest issue I had with the, that, that, was, that was the only reason I made my response video was, was the interview. I, I had actually, I had typed up a comment. I was w typing while I was watching the video, a response to just comment on your video and, mm -hmm. and reply to it. And then I got to that part and I was just so pissed off. I was like, what the heck? And so I stopped and I deleted my comment and then I messaged, I think I, I tried to go add you and I was like, I'm going to tell him, I'm going to tell him what's wrong. And then I'm like, oh, you know what? I'm just going to make a response video. Okay. Um, yeah. Again, I'm sorry for Uber's behavior and the whole scheme of the interview in general. I don't know if scheme is the right word. Um, yeah. If you, I, I, I forgive you. I don't, I don't, I don't think you had any ill intentions. And I said that. Um, even if it may have been uh, later than I may have should have should have put that, I put that in my description. I also said it and I commented it. Um, I actually have another question. I just remember. Did you delete mm -hmm. my comment on your video? Uh, no, actually, because uh, I was getting comments like, "Hey, you deleted it. You you want to get more hate? That's weird." And I'm like, "No, it's just I can't find it anymore." And so a good friend like scrolled all the way down through new and found it. It's buried for no reason. It still has all the likes and comments. Uh, I can give you a screenshot right now. This was, okay. I think I took this I, at like... I, I believe you, I believe you. I commented okay. again, but I believe you. I just I, I just saw it was missing, and I was like, what? Um, or I couldn't I couldn't find it, at least. I got people commenting on like my live yeah. stream and stuff. And I was like, YouTube ah. is weird for no reason. Um, yeah. Geez, I feel like there's more I wanted to ask you, but some of what you said has cleared that up. One of them was that you said you didn't have to use Uber's video, right? I didn't have to if I didn't want to. I didn't because, like I said, my perspective, especially, I didn't. I didn't know he was the person who created it. So I didn't. I thought it was just some random dude who made a cool map, okay. and um, I could have literally just shown me doing it and then go, "Oh, um, oh yeah, here, here's me doing it on this map. Maps links in the description if you want to." Um, some guy made a video and the link <laughs> links to it or whatever. Um, using using the map because I didn't even I didn't know I didn't know the full context situation because I didn't bother researching it because I it was irrelevant to. Um, to my video, because obviously yeah. I, I feel like even though I, I would have probably done the video slightly differently than I did if I could go back, um, obviously the video performed very well and it didn't, it wasn't an accident. It was for a reason. And the, you know, the reason was the way that it was structured. And if I had added a lot more detail to it and made it five minutes longer, it probably wouldn't have done half as well as it did. Um, I wanted to point out that you brought up a really good point with what we classify as shenanigans versus not shenanigans, right? Like you say, you don't consider head hitters shenanigans, and that's really. Well, no, I, I can I consider it shenanigans. I I, I I was making a joke. I consider it all shenanigans. I just think that I I was making a joke that I think that generally, if you were to ask somebody, mm -hmm. um, you know, is a five block jump possible? They would say, oh yeah, with ice. With um, yeah. again, it, it's all about perception. My video, yeah. I think you you were misconceiving for a lot of your video, which I think caused a lot of the issues. Was that you were misconceiving misconceiving my point of view because my point of view was describing it in a way that will be most understandable to the audience. So when I'm saying no shenanigans, when I, the first thing, even though from people who know parkour or people who, even if people who know parkour vaguely, like myself, um, will understand, would not probably not consider head hitters. Like I even asked George when I, the first thing I, when I saw the video, I was like, oh, how is he saying head, is head hitters shenanigans? And I asked him and then he was like, uh, he was like, oh, I wouldn't say so. Um, but I think mm -hmm. that if you're, if I think that in terms of, if you're talking about the comparing it to the last jump, which I was, I was saying head hitters is the most comparable jump to the last jump because doing it with ice is incomparable. Uh -huh. It's just, a, it's a block that, that speeds you up and doing it with speed is, is cheating because you're using a speed potion. But I think that head hitters is something that, um, is, is kind of on the borderline of being shenanigans or non shenanigans. You can even do head hitters in like a default world. Although I guess you can use mm -hmm. ice in a default world. Um, so I, I was saying, I think that it's comparable to the last jump because the last jump you need snow piled up and to be teleported to a, a certain pitcher. Yeah. Um, and that's something that I think is, is very obviously to anybody that hears that they'd go, yeah, that's shenanigans. Um, mm -hmm. but in the, in the context of it's just you running and jumping in Minecraft with nothing that's actually really, really adding to your, um, velocity as obviously as like ice or a speed potion was, I, I wouldn't classify head hitters in that. And then I say, I made a joke later about. Um, that shenanigans about the, which I saw somebody on um, 
uh, like Uber Uber stream was just like hating on me, saying, "Well, he he thinks that the forty five strafe is is uh, shenanigans." But I'm like, no, I I was I was just joking. I mean, I was like, you could tell my tone of voice. I was totally kidding. I was like, to me, that's shenanigans. Um, I have no idea if the person did it without like a bot or without a mod or anything, or if it was legit. I didn't look into it. Um, I figured maybe it was, it was based on the description of your video. You saying you saying it's a ten degree, um, like. You have to get within 10 degrees and within one tick. I was saying, okay, well, that sounds like something maybe a mod would have to do in instead of actually just someone legitimately doing it, which to me would totally, totally disqualify it in terms of like comparing it and, and using that as evidence against my claim. Yeah. Um, tool assisted but stuff I, is not in real parkour. Yeah. So you, the fortified trace, that's not, that's not tool assisted at all. It can be, but you can do it without tools, tool assistance. Did he do it? Did he do it in his video with tool assistance or was it without? I think he did it without. I think okay. I could ask him. Yeah, but I say I wasn't sure, so I didn't comment on that. But if I had known he had, then I would have said, "Oh, well, I, I when I was doing all my testing, I was doing it without, you know, any tools or anything. It was just default Minecraft." Um, but yeah, I believe you. Obviously, you can do anything technically, and um, just like you can get in that specific position without teleporting yourself in Minecraft, but it's much more difficult than um, than just pressing a button and teleporting yourself to that location. Um, but yeah, I, I don't, I don't, I, I wasn't just saying editors are definitely not shenanigans and you're dumb and blah blah. I was just saying it's, uh, or even though I, I, I did kind of say it in that way, but I, I, I think that if you're comparing it to the final jump, then you can't harp on me and say I just put it in there because of the fact that it was for to get to ten minutes or whatever. Like I, I could have, I could have cared less. One of my other unsolved mysteries isn't ten minutes. Um, if I had thought it wasn't relevant, I just thought to myself that was cool because before making the video, I did not know that. Um, and I, I, I had no idea that a five block jump with head hitters was, was possible. And when I was researching for the video, I figured that out and I went, wow, that's cool. That's something that the average person won't know. I'm going to show it in the video. And I think the average person would guess you can jump ice, uh, five blocks and would jet guess you can jump five blocks with a speed potion and with ice, but with head hitters, I think most people probably wouldn't. Um, so again, that's my, I guess, point of view, which I think is just a mis mis misconception from your side. Um, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. It's just an incorrect assumption, I guess. I think we've covered most of it, unless I want to just say two things that, two little mistakes that I think you made in your video, but they're not really that important unless you want to hear them. Sure. Um, okay, really? Okay. Uh, I saw, I did see someone someone's comment. Um, there, one, one thing I guess I'll just bring up is like when I flashed names on the screen and i said you're showing random people i didn't i didn't actually mean random people i was just i was making a point where you didn't you you didn't give any more details like just like i didn't because you didn't think it was relevant you thought oh people would know who these people are because they're relevant in the parkour community but the average viewer wouldn't know so to them it's just you flashing things up just like i did i don't think that was bad of you because that's exactly what i would have done in an unsolved mystery video mm -hmm. um or in another video like that where you're where you're just flashing something up but i thought I thought it was just kind of a funny, a funny thing that you were flashing up these random people to the average viewer who have no idea who they are and presenting it as evidence. Um, when you complained about me doing that about somebody's uh, forum post stuff, that's that's why I said that. I understand okay. they're they're probably I don't I don't personally know them, but I, I heard mm -hmm. that they're notable within the parkour community, and I, yeah. I see hats off to them. And I wasn't I wasn't trying to say they're random or anything. I I just don't know them, and the average viewer wouldn't. So I was saying yeah, I in, understand in context that. it's random. So I think there is that one important distinction though that. Cinemal and Fuzzbear Plush, those guys, though they may be random to the average viewer, they actually are really reputable sources. And the screenshots that you showed, they were like truly random. They were just guys from 2012 trying to figure stuff out about Minecraft in a time where not a lot was figured out yet. So yeah, think, but saying, but there's a difference when you were presented it as you. I didn't. I didn't say these guys are, are research parkour researchers. You did. So that's why you presented it as reputable oh, people. They, I, they are. I, I, I didn't. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So I'm saying that 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 equalizes it because I didn't. I didn't say that when I threw up the random screenshots, but you said that when you threw up yours. Um, now, if I had, if I had said, if I had said, here's a, here's some screenshots of parkour researchers and showing those screenshots, <laughs> then you'd be like, oh no, you're a liar. Those are not parkour researchers. They're just random people who looked online. Um, so yeah, I, I never said you were lying or anything. I totally believe that. Um, I was just making fun of the fact that, <laughs> that you that you, I, I probably should have worded it differently. I did say your I did say like your sources are shoddy or something like that. But I was laughing and joking. I I, I was I was mostly referring to the fact that you flashed up random people. Um, I did put a comment on my video saying that, um, and somebody somebody replied yeah. saying like they are random people to me, <laughs> which is which is the point I was making. It's like to the to the average viewer, which is what I always think like that. I feel like most YouTubers who are big YouTubers probably think like that. You you're not thinking in in terms of your own mind. You're thinking in terms of what the average viewer would think when they're watching a video, because that's how you improve a video and make it make it better. 
Um, cause somebody who's watching you who might know the parkour community would know those names, but somebody who wasn't would, would just think they could be their next door neighbor. Who knows? It could be somebody who sucks. Um, they would have no idea. Yeah. That's probably a good lesson for me to think about things in terms of the average viewer who probably isn't super informed or educated about specific topics. So thank you for that. Uh, yeah. as for the thing I was looking for that you got wrong at 1155, not a super big deal, but. I think you just misspoke. I was talking about, you know, how momentum caps anywhere between 6 and 11 jumps. And then you said that I said it caps at anywhere between 7 and 11 blocks. You probably, that probably doesn't change your meaning anyway. It just. Oh, yeah. No, yeah. It, it, I, yeah, it's just, I was, I was referring to, yeah, yeah. I meant, mm -hmm. I meant jumps. I just, I just misspoke. Yes. And you did call that an extremely wide range 7 to 11 blocks but the thing is it's actually not an extremely wide range in terms of like the momentum you gain from 11 jumps is how much more momentum you would gain yeah, from 11 yeah. jumps is negligible no, compared to a six if you how much momentum you get from six jumps yeah i agree i, mean, I, I was just making a point that it, it is it is a wide regardless of it's a wide range within context because if you if you say yeah. Um, you know, if, if there's only, there's only 11 jumps and you're saying that it, it, it could be anywhere from, you know, six to 11, yeah. that is, that is extremely wide. Cause that is, that is almost double your the initial so the yes. first five. I don't know. And then, oh, the next five it could be any of the next five, um, which to me is a, is a very large distance, even though within, if you're talking about specifics and going, well, in, within the research, is it really, does it really matter to the parkour community if it caps between, you know, six and 11, I guess it does, but, um, not substantially. Um, it would, so that it wouldn't, wouldn't seem like a big difference to, yeah. um, but I, I was making, again, it's, it's within context and I'm, I'm saying you're, you're saying that I'm saying things like from a wide range, like 4.0 and you're like, even at the beginning of this interview, you we were saying, well, you should care about the 0.06. Oh, because well, those then, actually do make a difference. Like a cobble wall, a block to a cobble wall jump, which is four point, almost 4.246, it's 4.25, 4.250. That's 0 0.00 off. It's 0 0.00. I'm just brain dead right now. I'm yeah, sorry. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. I've heard about. Yeah, I've heard from different people like, oh, it's like to make a certain jump. It, it's like it, mm -hmm. you would miss it if you got point zero 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 less. Yeah, or that was my initial point um, that those decimals do make a difference, but not in the case yeah. with this momentum gain and momentum cap. Yeah. No, I see. I see what you're saying. Um, yeah, it's it's probably le it's probably less of a less of a deal as I made it out to be. I agree with that. I think that I think that is in terms of just if you're looking at straight numbers and saying six to eleven, then it's a big deal. But if you're if you're talking about even if you're talking about something halving every time, then if you have one and it halves every time, then by the time you get to six, you're already talking about an extremely small number, and it also is exponential, so it uh, it, it decreases quickly. Okay, I'm just glad to clear that up. And I think the second thing I was wondering, oh, maybe there's three. Oh, whatever. Uh, the second thing is that you. Do I want to talk about this? Yes. You took Uber's, what he said, out of context. Uh, you showed a clip of him saying, uh, Dream took my money. But then directly after that, in the interview, he corrected himself and he's like, well, no, he didn't. Dream didn't really take my money. I wasn't making money from the video anyways. But then you put that in your response video as if that was his true beliefs, even though he corrected himself. Well, he he, he said multiple times, multiple times, he mentioned me stealing from him and me um, stealing his video and stealing his money, and that I and then he said multiple times that he felt like it was immoral and that I was stealing from him. Um, even if he said, even if he clarified afterwards and said, "Oh no, he didn't," he was just saying I didn't make. I, it wasn't my money because I, I, mm -hmm. I, I, um, I, my video wasn't monetized. I think he said that. And obviously, I'm, I guess I'm assuming, but I'm assuming based on co the context clues of how many times he did say that I stole, I stole his content and made money from it. Um, so I, I think that within, within context to all the other clips that it's, it's relevant. Okay. I wouldn't well, that say it's out sense of context. Enough. That's, that's all I would say. I, I wouldn't say it's out of context. I would say that the, the clip itself, like, I think that the ending doesn't necessarily matter him saying, oh, I didn't make money off of my video. I think it may actually make people go, oh, well, that's, that's why he's so jealous is because, oh, you're, he, you're making money and he, he didn't, um, or something, which I think is irrelevant to the to the point I was making that he was basically essentially accusing me of stealing from him, which throughout the whole thing, that's what he was saying. Even if it was stealing money, stealing content, stealing money in terms of stealing content, whatever. Thank you for clearing that up. I really don't want to even talk about the Uber video, I guess, because I was totally in the wrong there. Um, and for the last thing, very last thing, sorry, this has dragged on for a long time because I'm slow, but 
in your pinned comment in your response video, you said that the part of my debunking video after the interview where I praise you and your work and say that sock from your perspective and, I don't know, sympathize with you uh, was only put there to appease your fans and not due to an actual desire for the truth. But I don't agree with that. I thought I was pretty genuine and I wonder what your basis for that was. Um, I would say my, my basis for that is just the tone of the whole video. So a lot of, it, I think that for a lot of the part, okay. including the Uber part, um, that you were misled and maybe and I understand it. It's, it's like you're, you're in a community that, or, or part like even a subset of a community that may not like me for one reason or another, which obviously that sucks. And I'd love to clear that up, but, um, I don't have a microphone that I can speak directly to everybody in the parkour community. So I, I, I would, if I could, but, um, but, uh, yeah, I, I, uh, I, I just felt that throughout the video, you were saying things that I believe to be inaccurate, or at least I thought, oh, he's, you know, he's, he's hitting on things like, as an example, just talking about my hours on Manicube. Like, I, I thought, even though you are, you're saying, you're, you know, you're doing it in a form of a, a type of video where you want to hit on all the small things, mm -hmm. stuff like that, where it's an assumption, it's not, it's not pointing out something factually wrong. It's an assumption, even like, as it, also saying like, oh, mm, I'm guessing he never completed the parkour jump hmm, i'm guessing he never did this you're not doing it in cinema sin style because cinema sin style isn't guessing cinema sin style is, is just going over exactly what's wrong what's factually incorrect which some of the things you said in the video were factually incorrect that, uh, that i had messed up on and some of the things that you said in the video were just you making an assumption so because there was a lot of those assumptions and none of them were in a positive manner those were just in a negative manner saying Oh, he only added the head hitter jump because it get 10 minutes. Oh, he only talked about Halo for a minute and a half to get 10 minutes. Oh, he, he never did the jump because he didn't include it. Oh, he never, um, he, he doesn't play Mana Cube because he only has six hours and we can see that in the video. Um, and those, even just those, I know there was more, but just those, they're all factually wrong that I can show myself and go, oh, oh I mean, I guess two of them I can't prove and say, oh, I didn't do it for 10 minutes. But um, Bad Boy Halo, I had done, I had had in all the previous Unsolved Mystery videos for like a minute and a half. And um, and so I, I wasn't doing it specifically to get to 10 minutes. It's just a part of the, the series because he's a part of my channel. And um, for the other things, it's like Manic Cube, I had an alt. And, and all, all, the, all of these things that I believe are misrepresentations of, of me in my, in my video and my intentions um, based on assumptions, which didn't fit the rest of the narrative. And then at the very end of the video, you, you go over and say, um, well, you know, parkour community, even though this video sucked and he got all these things wrong and he's done this and that. Um, don't hate him because he, he put the, he's just an outsider who knows nothing. And even though most people who watch that would probably, and even yourself would probably go, oh, I was being genuine. I was saying this to me. It's an, it's insulting. Cause I, I, even though, even though you, I, I believe you probably were, um, genuine th thinking that you were being genuine within yourself. I don't necessarily, it's like, if I were to add that at the end, Oh, uh, he's just like a super noob at YouTube and sucks at doing YouTube. And so just understand that, um, you know, as somebody from the outside who is not a YouTuber, who has no idea what they're doing, um, don't, you know, give them hate. Like that's, that's kind of how I felt, even though maybe that's not necessarily accurate. I was, I felt like it was kind of a backhanded, let's see, his, let's see his side. Let's talk about it. And then his side is just, he's a noob who doesn't know what he's talking about, which <laughs> isn't the case, even though I, I'm not informed on parkour, the parkour community as a whole and very intricate parts of the parkour community. I, I like parkour and I've done parkour a lot and I consider myself fairly good at it. Um, and, uh, that's something that I, I, I took it as kind of a, a backhanded jab as well as uh, a little bit insincere just because of the, the placement of it. And the fact that, you know, most of it, like there wasn't a single thing that you pointed out during the video that was good or, Oh, I, he built, you know, built suspense good in this part, or he did this. It was all bad the entire time. And then, um, at the very end, you said like for like a minute, you talked about, um, you know, basically saying, don't jump at his throat. He brought, he brought exposure to the parkour community, which is true um and um and and nothing about i guess uh i don't know i don't know what i would have done in your position maybe i would have done the same thing because from your perspective i don't think that you you thought you did anything wrong in that case um but from my perspective i the reason i didn't include it in my video is i felt like it was irrelevant just like you didn't you didn't talk about my video in a good light in terms of like showing parts of my video that were good or that you deemed as good i did the same thing i just talked about what i felt like debunking but then i felt the need to I saw, I think one of your friends or something comment about it and say, oh, you'd left the part out where fruit, I don't know, not fruit, <laughs> where a happy heart um, said uh, nice things about him. And I was like, oh, I see how that may look bad. <laughs> let me, let me put in my pinned comment. Mm -hmm. I don't seen like one or two comments, but let me put in my pinned comment why I thought, why, why I decided to leave it out, I guess. Uh, I do understand that from your perspective. Pardon me, your perspective. Uh, it is really interesting that the parkour community who I was, people I was working with making the video said, 
I was being too nice to you in my script. I should have been more harsh. And I'm like, really? No. Well, I think, I think you were. I think you were. Pardon me? I think you were. I think you were. I think that you your mistake was you, instead of getting, instead of, you went too broad. You you could have totally taken my video and, and you showed the wrong clips from it. <laughs> you showed the wrong parts that you could have totally made me go, wow, this, this guy's right. I need to step forward and apologize. Instead of that, you you took a more broad approach and, you, and approach and you decided to nitpick some of the parts that weren't, that didn't matter and that had a smaller thing um, that, that had a, or that were wrong. Instead of sticking to your main point, which was that your main point was that the parkour community felt like I had um, spread misinformation. If you had just hit on that and only talked about that the whole video, I would have felt the need to apologize. I would have felt the need to come out and go, guys, look, he's right. I'm sorry. I was I, I made a mistake. But because half the video was spent saying incorrect information in, in my mind and half the and then also one third of the video was an interview with somebody lying, then it got to the point where um, your the point of your video became in my mind, a hit piece on dream and instead, even though you didn't, that was not your intention at all. Um, instead of keeping it short and sweet and going about and going over, Hey, dream made a mistake. Um, this is a misconception or maybe the you could have titled your video, like the misconception of dreams, longest parkour jump or something. Um, and then talked about how I, I had, I didn't, I didn't correct any, anybody. And I, I had spread some folks, some folks on the last minute of my video, whatever. Um, so I think that in a way they were right in a way they were wrong. I wouldn't necessarily say harsh, I guess, but I would say that, in an effort to make the video have more substance to it by talking about the whole entire video of mine, um, it actually had way less substance because it, a lot of it was easily debunkable and easily me going, oh, well, no, that's that's like, that's a that's a dumb argument. That's a dumb argument. That's stupid. Um, but if you had just if you had just said in the video essentially, hey, Dream, the park community is mad. You. You know, you there's a lot of people that comment on our videos and a lot of people that think that a five block jump is easy and that think that there's infinite momentum and those are problems that were caused by you. Here's how we can prove they were caused by you. These comments are all recently there. If you look up infinite momentum, none of it, nothing on Google. But now there's a Google trend. Um, there's, it's been Googled 100 times in the last year and before that it was Googled one, whatever. And you could have just presented an argument that, hey, you caused this issue and you should address it. And at that point, I would have um, been more inclined to. <laughs> be friendly and be yeah you're right you're right happy you're right um i made a mistake i shouldn't have done that i um it was unintentional i was a i was a more of a newcomer to the parkour scene i had no idea you know what i what i was doing and um i uh i was taught i was making a suspenseful video and at, near the end of the video i did not clarify enough um that this is just a theory <laughs> um and that it, it potentially could be very wrong and it i think people were more upset that my video got a lot of views and more views than pretty much any parkour video in terms of information and i was presenting it in my mind as this is i i don't think this is right but is it a more entertaining video to go i don't think this is right but potentially or just say potentially because it's the same thing it's just that people can read into it how they want which is the whole point of the unsolved mystery video it's just like how pewdiepie would probably be mad that I made a video talking about did he revive his dog? He goes, I didn't revive my dog. I know I didn't revive my dog, but we don't know that. You may know that, but we don't know that. And that's the whole point of the kind of unsolved series is more of a, it's more of a theory. And I remember, I remember, I almost included it, but I didn't. There was one part where in the the last interview, I won't talk about much, but Uber said like he just kept throwing out hypotheses, and I'm like, that's. <laughs> You understand the point of the video finally that's the that's the whole point of the video um so it wasn't necessarily to um spread uh, it wasn't at all to spread misinformation and i i i recognize that and i do apologize to the parkour community and to you um and anybody who has to deal with people commenting and saying oh infinite momentum you can jump 10 blocks 15 blocks whatever um because that was a very small part of my video and even though it may not seem like it that was only five percent of my video where i was talking about the potential for infinite momentum and um and uh i was i was talking about it in a way where i i knew hey this is almost definitely not true um but it, may, it sure as hell makes for an interesting video and that was my intention um and it's not it, i say i wasn't i never once said that it was i just was implying that it wasn't it's not people can post an unsolved mystery video about theories about um you know who who uh who who who, who is a serial killer or whatever and then uh, people will love those videos and like totally enjoy those. But do you think the person who they're theorizing about really likes it? <laughs> Probably not. They don't like to be called a murderer or whatever with pretty much no evidence. But it's just the whole point is it's, it's a it's a theory. I think that the parkour community kind of finds themselves in, in that spot where they were on the other side of a stick that I didn't realize they were on. And um, 
I didn't have any intentions of upsetting anybody or spreading misinformation. It just happened. And also keep in mind, I was a small channel back then. <laughs> I was a small channel, even though I wasn't a, a, I wasn't a super small channel. I don't know how many subs I had, but, um, if it was, um, before November, I had, I had less than 500 K of them. And, um, I may be really big now and the video has tons of views now, but I remember the first day I actually having my messages with Uber. I told him I wasn't sure if it was going to get 200 K. <laughs> I also said it could potentially get a million. Um, I said this could potentially get a million if, um, if, uh, if it does really well. Um, but I also wouldn't be surprised if it flatlines tomorrow and ends up with only 200 K. And so I was a smaller channel, so I wasn't necessarily thinking, Oh, this is going to spread a, uh, massive <laughs> whatever throughout the parkour community. Um, and yeah, I guess a little bit, we're a little bit ranty there, but yeah, that's, that's, I guess my no, best totally fine. Yeah. response to that. Okay. Well, thank you a lot, dream. I came into this thinking I was mostly in the right and you proved me wrong. You had a lot of good insight that I did not consider. And I just made assumptions over. And I'd also like to thank you for actually reaching out to me and offering to do this interview. You didn't have to do that. That was very kind of you. And you spent an hour of your own time talking to me about this when you didn't have to. So that's very nice of you. Uh, well, yeah, I, I just, I want, I just wanted to work it out. I, I it's as an, as a big YouTuber, <laughs> it comes with a lot of stuff and I'm new, kind of new to the scene and there is, there's some responsibility there, which with recognizing, you know, you're, you have to be very careful with your words in the same, in the same way, like as an example, where when I said the, the person thing and I didn't use Uber's name, his name back then was like Uber with like a bunch of numbers. Yeah, I, I, I think he changed it, but yeah, it, it, yeah. I, I swear sure it, it was different. Mm -hmm. Because I remember back then, I re I specifically remember not knowing like what his name was at all. And the first time I talked to him in a call ever, I remember asking him um, how to how to say his name. Uh, but uh, regardless, I the mistake the mistake that I made was not showing like a picture of his video or anything in the video, which I which would have given him slightly more credit. But I didn't I didn't feel like I felt like especially with the info card and stuff. That is way better. Like, obviously, you're gonna get way more clicks on an info card than you are on just flashing Uber's name on the screen. How many, how many people are gonna go and search up versus just click an info card that's right on the screen um, that pops up whenever it comes on? That's that was my thought process. So I didn't think it was a big deal at all. Um, but I, I do generally watch my words, and that's the thing with when I say even at, like very specifically, like me saying my friend at a lot of my videos. If you go watch, instead of my friend George or George. Um, is because of uh, the relevance to the viewer watching. And if I, I need to watch my words more carefully, especially in when I'm talking about things that could potentially be misconstrued as fact and people do trust me and think I'm smarter <laughs> than I probably am. Um, so they would, they would most likely be inclined to believe me even if I say something like the sky is red. So I need to make sure I don't say stuff like the sky is red because then I have a bunch of idiots running around thinking the sky is red. And I don't want that. Um, and that's, that's something that I definitely will take away from this and learn from the situation. And I knew this before I, I had improved my, my quality before. And I had heard about these same, um, strikes before from Uber back in the day and from other people. And I've experienced this as well with like the speedrun community. Whenever I was kind of new to it, I feel like I'm more respected now within it. When I was first new people made fun of my run and I did this wrong and this wrong and you're spreading like bad tactics and whatever. And I got the same kind of stuff. Um, or you're cheating or whatever. And it's the same thing with parkour. Like I really respect Minecraft. I have a very huge love for the game and every aspect of it. And, um, I, uh, it, it pains me to know that there's people that dislike me because of, uh, misunderstanding with wording, um, at the end of, at the end of one of my videos. Um, so I guess I, I really wanted to get a chance, I guess, to talk to you. I know you're, uh, you're fairly big in the, parkour community and i know i probably didn't <laughs> make people happy by uh, bringing you hate which i had no intention to do i i, oh, no, I thought totally I, totally I even fine. warned you i called you and i warned you and said hey i i think this might happen i really don't support it i want you to know that because i don't um but i felt because of the final interview i felt like i had to make a video because otherwise i the quality the video quality was really good and i thought this video is probably gonna blow up because it's a really high quality video the guy did a good job at presenting his points and um he has a good voice and whatever and, and the video was edited well i thought this video is probably going to blow up and i thought there was lies at the end so i thought i need to clear this up um if that part wasn't included i would not have responded but because it was i i felt like it was an attack on my character and that i don't i don't want people thinking hey dreams is the guy who steals content and and profits off of it because that's not at all who i am and um i would have loved for uber to message me i i've had him on disc i still have him on discord 
and he, he hasn't messaged me since that day. Um, so I, I, I would have loved for him to <laughs> message me because I would have loved to clear anything up with him and all that, but he didn't. Um, and that was the that was really the only reason I replied. And I, I'm sure some people probably will still be like, you went too hard on Happy Hard and whatever. So I know if if they're watching this video or anybody that, that isn't liking you is watching this video, um, I genuinely think that you sound like a nice guy and you well, make good, you. good content Likewise. from what I've seen. And um, I don't think you had ill intentions. I think that you were misguided. I think that there were some people who may have ill intentions out of anger, which I don't blame them for. Um, but I don't think that's you. I think that, that that's the people around you. And... Um, I um yeah so I guess I, I you're welcome for asking you to interview but I think it, it's more thank you for letting me because it's kind of an I guess outlet to um hopefully <laughs> clear things up with fans that are hating on you and maybe this will end up being beneficial for you who knows or um and also clear up uh, things with fans that or people that dislike me because of my and I'm sure I, this won't change their mind but um but it could potentially at least make them go oh, okay well he's not a huge meanie jerk <laughs> yeah okay yeah well yeah you're welcome and thank you i think yes thank you we've both learned a lot from this i hope and maybe our fans as well thank you again thank you again for doing this interview and unless there's anything more you'd like to say i think we can wrap it up here all right um i guess thank you for talking to me and um yeah i just i hope i hope people i don't i guess i'll say it in your video too but i hope I don't want anybody to hate on you or anybody to, you know, there's no hard feelings at all. I don't have any, any misgivings with you. I don't likewise. I don't, um, and I don't want any of my fans or supporters or anything to. And um, I think you said in your video, like mm -hmm. you'll cancel anybody who does. I will cancel anybody personally who, <laughs> who, yeah. who, who yeah, just kidding. But um, yeah. And I, I, I guess I'll, I'll say outright <laughs> that I had no intention of spreading that there was a, a six block jump possible or that there's infinite momentum because um, I did not believe either of those things. And I still do not believe either of those things. Um, but my video definitely portrayed it as that. And um, that is a mistake that I agree with from your video. I think um, you probably should have hit home on that a little bit more because that is, that is the biggest mistake that I made. Yeah, that's it. I'm sorry. And also, thank I'm you. Sorry too. Thank you. Thank you. I accept your apology. I accept yours too. Now now we're best friends.